What is up you guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be doing some spot burning. I'm burning all the spots in Southwest Florida. I'm gonna get a bunch of DMs after this video like, oh my God, you shouldn't be posting all these spots. Everybody's gonna fish them and ruin them and we're never gonna catch any fish there anymore. Oh. Which is totally not true because you guys know, as well as I do, everybody's gonna go there, they're gonna throw a three inch NLB and pedal tail around. They're not gonna catch anything, so it doesn't matter. These spots don't get over pressured. There's plenty of fish to go around. You can go, I literally will post a spot and then everybody will be like, oh my God, I go there, I never catch any fish. And then I'll go back to that exact spot. The first time, after like six months, seeing somebody there every single day fishing, and I'll pull a nice fish out of there. So I don't wanna hear all this like, you just can't fish. That's, I mean, honestly, that's probably it. So you're blaming spots being over pressured for your inability to catch a fish. But anyways, there's this local Peacock Bass Facebook page that I'm on, and this guy lives in a neighborhood in Naples, and he's actually moving out. So he posted the gate code, and he showed a bunch of pictures of him catching Peacock Bass in there, and he said, basically, just go and fish it and have fun. So I'm about to head there right now, and uh, hopefully this gate code works, and hopefully I can get on some Peacock Bass for you guys. I'm gonna be throwing artificials, something a little bit different for this channel. I don't really do that a lot, so that's the plan. Hopefully I see you guys in a second, and I uh, made it into the neighborhood. All right, you guys, well, we made it in. Let's see if... Uh Hopefully we don't get kicked out, or at least not for a little while. Figured while it's still shady out, I'll try a little top water. Check my drag, that's good. All right, one more cast with the top water, and then we'll switch it up. What's up? What's up, duck? Yeah, I don't think you want anything that I have in here. All right, final lure choice right here, the bucktail. Let's see the action. Oh right, yeah, I like it. Okay. Get out there a little deeper. There's a fish. What do we got? Looks like a little peacock. It's either a little largey or a peacock. It's fighting like a largemouth. That's a little largey. Come here, buddy. All right, buddy. There he goes. Oh, oh my God, you guys, huge peacock. Why is he just here? What's he doing? Huge, that's a huge peacock for Naples. Oh, he came up, he wanted it. He swiped at it, missed it. I've never seen a fish miss so many times. I have to get him to like reaction bite on it. Dude, he, he like hits it and then he just doesn't eat it. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Oh, he came off. Man, that was a big peacock. Will he eat twice? All right, well, I mean, I guess if there's one, there's more, right? I don't know how he came off, that sucks. All right, let's go try the uh, second pond in here. See if there's any more peacock. I just worked the whole shoreline and get a single bite or see anything really. So let's go try this one. There's a fish. Ooh, looks like a nice peacock. I'm gonna loosen the drag on this one so I don't lose him. Oh, it's, it's not that big. But I'll definitely take it. Come on, buddy. Wow, that's a really pretty one. All right, so there it is. It's fish number two. Not as big as that first one that I hooked, obviously, but definitely a really pretty fish. Go ahead, get this guy back in water. Swim off super strong, so uh, I'm gonna get back out there, see if I can get a bigger one. Oh, there's a peacock chilling right here. There's two peacocks. Oh, snap. Let's see. One of them is smaller and one of them is actually big. Maybe they like it a little faster. Oh, he missed it. Guys, I am such a noob at peacock bass fishing. I have no idea what I'm doing, but this is so much fun. Oh, I miss it again. I don't know if they're, I mean, they have to be, a, he has to be intentionally missing it, right? I mean, that's not, there's no way that fish is that bad. There he goes, he's got it. Oh, that's a good fish, that's a good fish. I'm gonna loosen this drag up. All 
Oh yeah, that's a big one. Oh, <laughs> this is so cool on artificial, guys. I think I caught one in Miami on artificial before, but I don't know. To do it consistently, like today, is pretty sick. That's a good fish, and it's bright. Wow. Oh, get away from those rocks. Yeah, I'm super happy with that. Look at that fish. It's pretty good. Dude, you got it, bro. I've lived here for four years. I watch people fish all day. I haven't seen one that big. Really? That's the biggest one. There you go. <laughs> all right, guys, there you go. Fish number three. This gentleman behind the camera here says that he's lived here four years. He's never seen one caught this big, so definitely super happy with that. Go ahead, get this guy back in the water. Um, I guess I'm just gonna keep fishing. Yeah, that's definitely the biggest peacock I've ever caught, especially on artificial. Maybe in that last video I did up in Fort Myers, that might be some that I caught in there that were bigger, but those don't really count, they were on live shiners. So it seems like they're hanging out in shady spots, at least from what I can tell so far. Which I don't blame them, because many of you guys are local, and you've been fishing lately during the day, it is extremely hot out right now. So one funny thing that I've noticed about uh, doing this whole YouTube fishing thing is that when you hook a big fish and you lose it, four, it was like, oh, like I'm not even gonna tell anybody about that because if you do, everybody's, oh, never mind, there's a big fish. I'll tell you guys later. Actually, he might not be that big. <laughs> he just swam straight to shore, what is this? Why is he swimming so weird? That's a peacock. Is he hooked funny? Why is he swimming so... Oh, he's hooked on the top of the head. Sorry, dude. No wonder he was pulling. He was like pulling really hard, but also just coming right in. It's like, what the heck is that about? Come here, bro. Let me unhook you. Yeah, definitely. I don't need to put the big camera on this guy, but I hooked him right there in his little bump on his head. I don't know what that's called or why they have it. I'm pretty sure it's the males that have that. I'm sorry, dude. Get you back in the water. Well, there's another peacock followed him up. Basically, mahi mahi. Let's see if I can catch that one. This is so much fun. The other one disappeared, so I don't know. I think I'm gonna be able to catch him. Continue working my way around. Oh, anyways, what I was saying was, um, you know when you lose a fish and it's like, oh man, it was a really good fish, but I'm not gonna sit there and go tell everybody like, oh yeah, I had this really nice peacock bass on and I lost it, they're gonna be like, oh, okay, whatever. Like, But when you do video, you get to show the fish that you lost and then it's like, oh, okay, yeah, he actually did hook a nice fish and he lost it. Not like anybody really cares, but it's kind of cool. All right, last cast in this pond and then you know, work our way back to that other one. Maybe that big dude isn't scared anymore and he wants to eat. I'm just gonna go back over where I was, where that big one was. All right, so I believe that big one was like right here. It was either here or it was over there. I could look back at the footage and figure it out, but I don't really care that much. Well, didn't see the big one, and I don't think that I'm going to. So I think it's time to call it. All right, you guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. I came, I saw, I conquered. Super happy with that fish that I caught, and uh, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna come back and fish the spot anytime soon, so. I'll go ahead and post it, and you guys can go ahead and just burn it up. Make it completely unfishable for everybody else. All right guys, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.